Our first two presenters are Academy Award winner Nicole Kidman and James Bond himself, Daniel Craig. Good evening. The first Oscar tonight is for art direction. The art director and set decorators are asked to create an entire world to which the audience can run away to for a few hours. This year, the nominated films took place in the fantasy worlds of Pirates of the Caribbean and Pan's Labyrinth, in the secret world of the magician in The Prestige. And in The Good Shepherd and Dream Girls, the mutually exclusive worlds of white America and black America in the 50s and the 60s. We were there. Thanks to the extraordinary work of these nominees for Best Art Direction. John Meyer for the Art Direction and Nancy Haig for the Set Decoration of Dreamgirls. Janine Offerwall for the Art Direction and Gretchen Rao and Leslie E. Rollins for the Set Decoration of The Good Shepherd. Eugenio Caballero for the Art Direction and Pilar Revuelta for the Set Decoration of Pan's Labyrinth. Rick Heinrichs for the art direction and Cheryl Karasik for the set decoration of Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Man's Chest. Nathan Crowley for the art direction and Julie Otipinti for the set decoration of The Prestige. Yeah. Yeah. Help me out. I'll help you. And the winner is... Pan's Labyrinth. This is the first Academy Award in nomination for Eugenio Caballero and Pilar Revuelta. Well, the first one of the night. Just some quick thank yous. We, we want to thank, uh, first of all, to the Academy for this dream come true. It's an honor for us. Thank you to our crew. They made a wonderful job. No. To Picture House, to all of our producers, they've been tremendously supportive. Um, to Guillermo Navarro for his beautiful light. To Guillermo del Toro for guiding us through this labyrinth. No? Um, I want to thank my wife and my family for, for the support, and I want to dedicate this to the memory of my mother and all the filmmakers of my country. Please welcome the star of Stranger Than Fiction and Sherry Baby, Maggie Gyllenhaal. Ladies and gentlemen, the thrice-nominated Leonardo DiCaprio and Vice President Al Gore. So, Mr. Gore, we've uh, got a big crowd out here tonight, an even bigger one at home. Is there, is there anything you might want to announce? I, I'm just here for the movies. I'm just here for the movies, Leo. And on this occasion, I'm here to thank all of the talented people in this great industry who've been part of the mission to inspire a successful response to the climate crisis. And thank you, Leo, for being such a great ally in this effort. Thank you, sir. Thank you. The American film industry has always taken its obligations to society very seriously and it's stepping up once again. Tonight, tonight we're proud to announce that for the first time in the history of the Oscars, this show has officially gone green. Which means that environmentally intelligent practices have been integrated fully into every aspect of the planning and production of these Academy Awards. And you know what? It is not as hard as you might think. We have a long way to go, but all of us can do something in our own lives to make a difference. Check out www.oscar.com to get ideas from the Academy and the National Resources Defense Council, the NRDC, about how you can do your part. 
And now, though, although our time is almost up, I just want to say I'm very proud to be standing next to such an inspirational leader in the fight against global, global warming. You are a true champion for the cause, Mr. Gore. Well, thank you. Thank you. Now, <laughs> Now, are you sure, are you positive that all this hard work hasn't inspired you to make any other kind of major, major announcement to the world here tonight? Well, I do appreciate that, Leo, and I'm kind of surprised that the feelings uh, welling up here are actually have been very convincing. And <laughs> even though I honestly had not planned on doing this, I, I guess with a billion people watching, it says good a time as any. So, my fellow Americans, I'm going to take this opportunity right here and now to formally announce my intention to... Coming up, more Ellen, Cameron Diaz, Tom Hanks, and Helen Mirren, plus a one-time only reunion performance from Dreamgirls on the 79th Annual Academy Awards. <laughs>